Good afternoon. Happy Labor Day. I hope everyone's doing well. This is Dr. Russell Robinson. I'm coming to you live from my home office. I trust all of you are out enjoying the, the weather. As, as interesting as it is, I'm looking at my window now and I can tell you that, yes, it's uh, a little bit odd. I'm looking right here and uh, I looked out that way too because I have two windows. You can't see that one. But anyway, I want to go ahead and take a brief moment to talk to you about the, the grades that you have received overall regarding your speech of introduction. First, thank you to all of those who submit the work in by deadline. I appreciate that. Again, a special thank you to all of those as well who were able to follow the instructions and follow those to the letter. Uh, and then we have the majority of the grades. Unfortunately, we have folks who basically submitted information, submitted their assignment in, uh, and did not follow the instructions. And when you don't follow the instructions, of course, you can't get graded appropriately for that. Or you can, but in, you know, in this case, it's a grade that's less than what you would consider satisfactory. And allow me to explain why I did that. Um, the reason that I did that was not to make anyone go into coronary or cardiac arrest, but more so as an attention getter. One of the things that we have to do in this course is certainly follow the instructions as best as possible. And by doing that, it's imperative that you, you take a look at all of the modalities of delivery regarding instructions. Uh, we have certainly the syllabus. We additionally have the... Uh, about, I'm sorry, we have the Google Hangouts. We also have, if I'm not mistaken, we even have the instructions that were there for you and they're still there for you. And so, again, going back to what I've said before, uh, when I look at the course activity in both of the classes that I teach and see that there's a high volume of activity for the day before an assignment, well, then I go back and look at the submissions that I receive it lets me believe or allows me to conclude that people are thinking that I'm going to just turn this in and this will be acceptable, it'll be graded. And I think now with what you have discovered through trial and error, that it is in your best interest to follow the instructions um, as they are prescribed. And also the other thing that I noticed too is that individuals um, for some reason felt that they are not able to submit their speech of introduction or submit their work in the appropriate drop boxes. Again, please, uh, one, do not mistake the first, uh, one of the first discussion board posts for media links for you submitting your About Me page. There was a discussion board for that. And if you submitted your About Me page into the discussion board, board into that discussion board link, that's great, but I can't grade the work. So you have to submit the other stuff where it's appropriate. So what I'm going to do is I will allow for between now and Tuesday the opportunity for you to submit that work into me, but uh, you will submit the work into me in the right Dropbox. Also, uh, as per the syllabus and also per the announcements that I send vis-a-vis -vis the feedback, I am going to allow you as well the opportunity to submit a revised, a revised version of your presentations, your speeches of introduction, per the instructions that have been sent to you and hopefully you'll be able to get a good level of experience and success with that. Now I'm going to do this one time only without a penalty but this is the last freebie so you may want to make sure that you heed my words of advice seriously. Uh, do yourself a favor, follow the instructions and please attend the Google Hangouts. Uh, the Google Hangouts can do nothing but help you. I've had two students who actually were in the Google Hangout. One person who followed instructions and one person who didn't follow instructions. That person who didn't follow instructions received a grade of zero. The person who did follow instructions received a grade of 98. So, you do the math. Um, last thing I want to say too. I know in some cases some of you may be alarmed and there's no real reason for alarm because again, you have a 48 hour uh, window to revise and submit your work to me. Now after the 48 hours the grade is going to be permanent. It will be a permanent zero. Now a zero will not help your GPA obviously um, and you have to submit all work to pass the course. So I want to make sure that again that you understand that I'm giving you this opportunity to revise and submit your work without penalty. Again because I am invested in your success. But for that to happen I need you to take some of the first steps follow the instructions, talk to me uh, 
vis-a-vis -vis Google Hangout or send me a phone call or send me an email or a phone call. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but please, uh, make sure you follow the instructions. Please read the syllabus. I noticed we had one individual who did a speech uh, with six people. And you don't have to have six people for your speech of introduction. You don't need an audience until we get to the informative or persuasive speech. So again, that goes back to reading the syllabus. Read the syllabus as many times as you need to, because at the end of the day, the syllabus is going to be what helps you to successfully navigate this course. Okay, I'm going to go out now, enjoy the rest of my Labor Day weekend. I hope you all are doing the same. We'll look for those revisions. And again, the date the revisions I'm looking for will be, today is the 6th, so I'm going to give you until tomorrow's the 8th, on tomorrow's the 7th. So we'll give you till Tuesday the 8th by 5 p.m. to get the revisions in to me. Now, if I don't have them by 5 p.m., I'm not going to be able to take them. And for future reference, um, if we have a situation like this again, um, I'm not necessarily going to be inclined to make this same type of offer. Um, so again, please do yourself a favor, follow the instructions, Ask questions where you need to ask questions. Please contact me. I'm more than willing to help. Okay, we'll see you guys soon, and take care. Have a healthy, happy, and safe Labor Day holiday. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.